<laughs> Imogen, Alan and Michael's refugee host, Abdi, introduces them to his local Somali soccer team. A community youth worker, Abdi helped set up the team. Sorry, I should be passing. <laughs> Come on, you old boys. Come on. My doctor says I can't. I've been to a knee specialist recently. Soccer holds a special place in Abdi's life. He was playing a match with his friends after school when he was 13, and bombs started to rain down on the neighbourhood. It was the day war arrived in Mogadishu, and life changed forever. So does this bring back uh, memories of, of soccer in Somalia? Of course, yeah, it does, because uh, I used to love soccer, yeah. and I played all the time. It's a pretty amazing story that you're last day in Somalia yeah, with you. Yeah, a soccer game, yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's Going the thing. Play like, soccer. Yeah, play soccer. But I, I used to play every afternoon. Yeah. So I was, in a way, I was lucky that I was out the house, yeah. you know. When Michael, Imogen and Alan arrive in Mogadishu, they're determined to see if any trace of Abdi's life 20 years ago still exists. Abdi left uh, when the fighting first started early 90s. He told us about the afternoon that he left. He was on the soccer fields up here, which he described as being adjacent to the US compound. And he really wanted us to do two things for him. First is see his house, but also maybe if kids yeah. still play soccer here. Just across the street from the mosque. Might have a ball yeah. for them. Yeah, I think we can get over there. I mean, this area for a really long time was a no-go zone until probably about eight months ago. Very ch chances are pretty good that kids mm -hmm. are still playing there. I mean, because if they, as soon as they find it, any open spot, they, they yeah. break out a, yeah, sure. a soccer ball. The soccer field they hope to find is next to Abdi's old school. In a country ravaged by war, 66% of the population is illiterate. But his school is surprisingly still intact. Like that girl's uniform on the left there. Yeah. Al Quda. Brighter future. Mm, that'd be nice. Hello. Sabah or Luxon. Good morning. We are from Australia. My name is Michael. And this is Imogen from Australia. And this is Alan. We, uh, we have a friend in Australia who came to this school 20 years ago. And uh, now he has been to university and has a family and uh, doing very well. So his message to you would be to make this time at school precious and to learn as, uh, as much as you can uh, to, to help rebuild uh, Somalia. So uh, that's what he would say. I want to ask my, my friend, you, you indicated that there is uh, someone who graduated at this school. Yeah. May you tell me that guy, that guy his name? Yeah. Um, Abdi Aiden. Abdi, Abdi Aiden. And he asked us to come here and to play soccer with kids in Somalia. Will you come out and play some soccer? Yeah? Nah. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Al Khura before Saeed. It's the same sandy soil on which Abdi played his last soccer game in Mogadishu 20 years ago. My name's Imogen. My name's Fanny. Fanny! <laughs> <laughs> Alan, get him! Tackle him! Oh. <laughs> he likes that manoeuvre along the wall. <laughs> sort of a bit hard to pick the opposition. <laughs> yes! Go! Oh. Legendary! Now what are they fit? <laughs> Playing in the sand, hard work. You can't help though, you know, just as 30 seconds ago, a series of machine gun shots just outside the perimeter of their school. These poor bloody kids, jeez. Hey boys. Abdi in Australia, he said one thing, that we take this ball with us and we give to you. So for that's the school. For you. Yeah, it's for you. For the, for the schooler. The schooler. Yeah. It's a small thing, but give them uh, that ball. I think they're pretty happy about it. I was happy about it. 